Greetings and blessings, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Johannes Lindstedt, and uh, this is the first of hopefully many future videos to come where I'm going to instruct you on how to play a few of my songs. Over the years, I've gotten many emails from people um, asking me for tabs and sheet music and classes and whatnot. So I finally decided maybe it's time to give some lessons on, on uh, YouTube here. And today I decided to start with Café Tropical. A lot of people discovered me and this song through a video game called Tropico 4. And uh, they started calling me El Presidente after that, so I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, I'll let you hear a little bit of how I play uh, Café Tropical. This is the main melody that's also done on horns on the recording, but live I don't generally have horns with me, so I play it like this. Okay, so this is basically based on just two chords, the A minor chord and the E chord. A minor is made up of an A, a minor third, which is a C, and then the fifth, which is the E. The E chord is made up of an E, a G sharp, which is the major third, and a B. Now if you want to add the seventh in there, the seventh is a D. Okay. So to play this, I'm doing what's known as double stops. I'm playing two notes at the same time. The first notes are following, if you know a D minor chord, you can add your, your third finger there, and it's still a D minor. If you move it up, you got E, up two more, you got F sharp, up three, and it becomes A minor. So if you just follow that form, don't have to even leave, lift your fingers off, you just go like this. playing the B and an A on the 2nd string, the 12th fret and the 10th fret. And then I follow an E chord. If you know an A, that becomes B flat, that becomes C, that becomes D, move it up, two more, and you got an E chord. Same thing, I'm just following that. And then there I'm playing the A on the 2nd string at the 10th fret, and the G sharp on the uh, second string. So the lower melody is, and then going to the E. Okay, and then like I said, I harmonize that. So instead of starting on this note, now I start on this note, the E. The E is the fifth of the A minor chord. So there's that same sort of D minor form moved up to an A, and then I extend it to the high E on the first string. And then I switch to the E form again. And there's that seventh, the D is the seventh of the E chord. And that's all on the first string, the D, the C, the B, and the C. Now if you want to harmonize it, you have the, you could do the form like this or like this. So I'm using my thumb and first finger, playing two notes at the same time. And then I jump up to the um, 13th fret for the C and the 12th fret for the E. And then, so that's, like, that's basically a major third. From the C to the E is a major third. And then I do a minor third, B to the D. So I'm going like this. Do that again. And then I follow the E chord. And I go to that minor third again, the B and the D. So 
I'm just taking that form, moving it from fret to fret. Here it's a, a, a B to a D. Here it's an A to a C. Here it's a G sharp to a B. These are all minor thirds. The only one that's a major third is here. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps, and I will be adding more to this um, in the future. In fact, I might go ahead and record the next part right now, which is like this. Alrighty, so stay tuned. Thanks so much. Many blessings.